Hi friends, how are you all? In the last video, I already explained how to generate SAR2 waveform. Okay, in the, even in the experimentation part also, through experimentation I verified how we get SAR2 waveform and how to write the program, everything I explained, right? So with that knowledge, now let us see how to write the program for generating triangular waveform. Here also the first part of the video covers the logic for generating tri triangular waveform and the remaining part of the video or second part of the video covers the experimental verification of triangular waveform. Okay, in that I will show you how, what are the various blocks that are required. Okay, how we can write the program, later how we can connect uh, DAC IC and CRO and let us see how we get the triangular waveform. Okay, I will share the PPT to you. See here. Here also, what is our aim? So we should generate, I will take a highlighter, right. So now let us see, write 8086 program to interface 825, nothing but to programmable peripheral interface and generate a triangular waveform using that. So here also, what are the various modules are required? One is 8086 trainer kit is essential. Okay, so with that trainer kit itself, we have 8255, then uh, the overall 8255 is again interfacing to DAC. Okay, in the DAC uh, we have triangular waveform and that DAC will convert uh, that uh, digital nature of triangular waveform into analog form and that analog form we are observing with the help of uh, CRO. Okay, so uh, all are essential. Let us see how to generate a triangular waveform. So basically if you take uh, Y axis is voltage and X axis is time. So what is the shape of triangular waveform? Triangular waveform should be like this. So it is having equal rise time as well as uh, equal fall time. Okay, so here, uh, See, this is the rise uh, slope and this is falling slope. So here, uh, for example, 0, 0, no, for, uh, for uh, generating any waveform, we should uh, consider uh, it should be 8-bit only. So 8-bit minimum and 8-bit max. 8-bit minimum means 0, 0 H. 8-bit maximum means uh, FFH. Here, 0, 0, then 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3 H, then finally it reaches to FFH. Later, FFH to 0, 0 H. Again, 0, 0 to FF. Like that, uh, the waveform is uh, distributing. Okay. So now this is the shape. In order to make this type of arrangement, let us see how we can uh, rising from 0, 0 to FF and how we can falling from FF to 0, 0 here detailedly. Now see, this is your uh, control word register of 8255. This is very essential. With the help of control word register only, communicated to DAC. So in, in that control word register, ports are present. With the help of ports only, we can communicate it to DAC. So then DAC will uh, perform the required uh, digital to analog uh, waveform. Okay, now let us see here, uh, this is your control word register. So in most of the applications, we use control word register. So D0 to D7, here also D7 must be one. In the previous video also, I already explained uh, control word register many times. In the previous video and uh, last before videos also, I explained. Just over a look once. So here D7 should be one. Then our mode is IO mode. D5, D6 related to mode zero for port A. These two bits for selecting uh, mode uh, zero for port A. Okay, D4 is port A selection pin and D3 is uh, port C upper selection pin and D2 should be 0 and this, this pin indicates the port B mode 0 selection. Then D1 is port B input or output selection and D0 is port C lower input or output selection. So generally for any application, we should make all ports are ready to perform output operation. That's why all crosses are zeros for output operation. If it is input, all crosses are ones. Now, for all, for all uh, real life uh, controlling, we should make uh, all ports are ready to perform output operation. For that, all classes are zeros. Then what is equivalent to XA? Uh, one, seven zeros. Equivalent to XA is uh, one, triple zero is eight. Four zeros becomes zero. So what is the value now? 80H. Okay, 80H. Is the control word register. And if you select, if you send 80H to control word register, then control word register understood that uh, processor wants to make all ports are ready to perform output operation. Then we can select any one port because uh, 8 bits are required for generating SAR2. Uh, sorry, for generating triangular, 8 bits are required. So we can select uh, any one port. Now let us see here uh, how to write the program. See here uh, mnemonic operands. Let us see first part. Here also we should select the control word register and it is available at which address 0FFE6H. See here move DX comma 0FFE6H. This is the address of control word register and it is loaded to DX initially. Then move AL comma AT. Because of AT what happens, uh, uh, it makes a control word register uh, in which all ports are ready to perform 
output operation. Then out dx comma L. Why we are writing out? 8086 is one chip, 8255 is another chip. So in order to move the data from one chip to other chip, out instruction is used. Out indicates processor sending data to 8255. Okay, that's why we are writing out dx comma AL. What is AL value? 80. So 80 is now sent to dx. What is dx? 0, ff, e6. Then uh, uh, dx, uh, nothing but control board register receiving which value? 80. Then it understood that uh, processor making all ports are output port. So these three steps are required to make uh, all ports are output ports and mode of uh, port A and port B are under mode 0. These three steps are common. Then coming to our uh, triangular wave logic, so here first move AL comma 0, 0 H. Initially AL is loaded with which value? 0, 0 H. Then move DX comma 0 F F E 0 H. This is the address of port A. So in order to control uh, 8 bits, we need one port. For that here, which port we are taking? Port A. So move dx comma 0 f f e 0 h. Then out to dx comma a. In that case, what happens? A already having 0 0. Now 0 0 is moved to port a. Okay, port a is now having 0 0 value. Then next increment al. What is al now? 0 0 becomes 0 1. 0 0 becomes now 0 1. Now compare al comma 0 f f. So generally, if you write like this, it will give you syntax error. So left side, we should write 0. Because if higher 4 bit value is more than 9, left side, you should write 0. Otherwise, it will give you syntax error. So now incrementing AL. What is AL now after 0, 0? If you increment, it is 0, 1. Then later comparing AL with FF. What is AL? 0, 1. Is it a 0? Is it FF? No. Okay. Then here we are comparing. No. Then jump no 0 means they are not equal, not same. Then this is correct. Jump no 0 means they are not equal. Yes. No, they are not equal. Then what happens? It will go to L1. L1 label. In that, what happens? Out to DX comma L. What is DX now? Port A address is now receiving which value AL value. What is AL after incrementing? 0, 1. So now port A receiving 0, 1. Okay. Then again, AL is incrementing. What is AL now? 0, 1 becomes 0, 2. Then compare AL with 0, FF. 0, 2 is not uh, FF. Then it is uh, comparing is over. Jump no 0. If these two are not equal, then it will jump here. Then my port A taking which value? 0, 2. Then later uh, incrementing AL. Like that, uh, AL 0, 2 becomes 0, 3, 0, 4, 0, 5. Like that, AL is incrementing uh, from 0, 0 to FF. Unfortunately, when AL reaches to FF, what happens if AL is FF, then compare AL with 0 FF. So AL already FF. Now comparing with FF, now they are same. Then this condition is failed. Jump no 0 condition is failed because they are equal now. Then it will come, so, uh, comes to the next uh, instruction. What is the next instruction here? See the point. What is the next instruction out? DX comma AL. So at the end of this loop, what is the AL value? At the end of the loop, AL is FF. So AL, so before uh, failing of this condition, what is AL value? FF. So then that FF is now loaded to port A. Okay, then from FF, it starts decreasing for uh, uh, decreasing the slope we need, right? For that, how DX come AL? AL already reached to which value? FF. Then FF is sent to port A. Then decrement AL. What is AL value now? FF is decrementing by one value. So FF becomes now FE. Okay, then we are checking. Jump no zero. No zero means AL is not zero, zero. Then jump. Now, AL, what is AL value after decrementing? It is FE. Is it 0? No. FE is not 0. FE is not 0, 0. It is FE. So, no, this is correct. Jump no 0. So, 0, it is not no, it is not 0. That's why it is a node 0. Then it will go here. Then out DX comma A. What is port A now? Port A now receiving which value? FE value. Then it starts decrementing from here. It starts decrementing from FF to FE, then FC, FB, FE like that. It comes to 0, 0. Okay, further. Okay, so up to this part related to rising. Now, next part related to see here. Next part, these three lines, these three lines related to falling part. Now, decrement AL. What is AL value after decrementing? FE becomes now FC. Jump no zero. FC is not zero, zero. Then it will jump. Then port A takes FC. Again, decrementing AL. FC becomes now FB. Like that, FB, FA, okay, then F9. F8 like that will decrement and uh, finally AL reach to 0, 0. Once it is 0, 0, jump no 0 condition failed. Then it will come here. Like that, uh, till now we get one rising, one falling. But I need uh, same set of waveforms, many infinite number of uh, same waveforms. For that, I am writing unconditional jump. Jump L1. See here, jump L1. Then it will go here. So at the end of uh, uh, loop L2, what is AL value? 0, 0, right? It is decrementing from FF to 0, 0. Then here. How dx comma al? What is the dx value? Port A address. Now what is al value? 0, 0. Now port A takes 0, 0. Then al is incrementing. 0, 0 becomes 0, 1. Then it will check whether uh, uh, 0, 1 reach to FF or not. 0, 1, 0, 2 like that. It will increment and goes to FF. 
after ff it will comes out of the loop like that this loop for here this here this loop for uh, rising slope this loop for falling slope like that one rise and one fall this instruction here see here this instruction is used to generate uh, because it's unconditional it is used to generate infinite number of same triangular waveforms okay so with this we are generating one rise and one fall only like that we have infinity rising and falling for that jump l1 so again same operation same uh, rising will be occur here here falling will be occur again jump l1 like that uh, if power is there we we can observe continuously triangular waveforms okay this is the logic now let us see how to dump same program into uh, trainer kit and let us see same waveform we should observe in the uh, laboratory setup also okay we'll see now let us see here uh, our aim is how to generate a triangular waveform using uh, dac ic along with 8086 so you know already this is your 8086 trainer kit and this is dac so here uh, we are writing uh, program for, uh, for generating the triangular wave that uh, information is passed to dac dac take the digital uh, waveform and converting it into analog waveform the analog waveform is uh, given to cro and we are observing the analog waveform in the cro for dac also we need uh, 12 volts plus 12 and minus 12 volts supply for that i am using one adapter for this 8086 trainer kit also uh, we need 5 volts supply for that i am using another an ad ad adapter okay and this is patch card and here we are transmitting the digital data from processor to dac with the help of this patch card now let us see how to write the program and uh, let us see what are the instructions i am writing here so see first a space 2000 in that i am writing mu dx comma ff e6 then mu al comma 80 in order to make all ports or output ports for that out dx comma al so we are sending 80 data to control board registrators then it, it indicates that all ports are ready for performing the output operation then mu al comma 00 then uh, for selection of that we need port a for that i am writing 0 ff uh, e0 address for port a then out dx comma al increment al then checking whether uh, that al is incremented and uh, reach to ff or not not uh, reaching then again we are uh, making that condition continuously that is for rising now coming to falling so initially we are loading uh, dx with uh, ff value with the help of al then later we are decrementing we need to observe from ff to 00 for the decrementing So checking whether uh, that uh, AL value zero zero or not. Otherwise, it will continue. Okay, like that we are generating one triangular wave. In order to make continuously, I am writing unconditional jump JMP. Right. So like that, uh, this is the program for generating triangular wave. Huh? Let us see for run command J equal to two thousand. Let us see what happens. So if you observe, we get the triangular wave form in the CRO. Okay, this is the simple way of generating triangular wave form by using eight zero eight six trainer kit as well as the DAC IC. Thank you for watching this video. Okay, if you really like, it, please kindly share my video to your friends. Okay, subscribe my channel. Thank you.